Premier boys, yeah. Yo, me and my team is the best in the world. world. You and your team looking stressed in the world. world. Said me and my team is the best in the world. world. Then you and your team looking stressed in the world. world. Yo, me and my team getting arrested by curves. Curve. And you and your team getting arrested by the curve. curve. Me, my nigga, oh, he ain't do shit. Except the robbery, nigga. He gon' do six. Come through, bitch styled up with new kicks. Penny flow, ho, and I come with two chicks. Cause me and my team is the best in the world. world. Me and my team is the best in the world. World. Said me and my team is the best in the world, world. best in the world, world, best best in the world. Got a star on the sky, gentlemen on the cup, yeah. and I know my team burns. We got sand in the cut. Ow, Premier boys. Somebody else got a new album coming out, and Justin Timberlake. You know he got a new album coming out. We don't know the information about that either, but I just know that. Of course, it's worth Timberland. And Nutty for Title, all them link up again, too. How y'all feel about that? Nelly for Title. Yeah, yeah. Nelly for Title. Uh, Bro, no, 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 no. Because that, that, that's <laughs> right up there with Beanie Siegel shit. Because that, <laughs> and I feel it in the air, was like the last hot shit that came out from both camps. Justin Timberlake still needs to make up for that whole Janet Jackson shit. From the side, I'm going to the cookout because of that. Huh? <laughs> you on the other side, buddy. You get one chance, one chance to leave one of us hanging. You out. And yes, we know Janet is barely one of us, but she's one of us, damn it. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> really and you really left her out the drive for that CBS shit. And then now, y'all, now you got Timberland back working because he can't come up with no more artists to make a verses out of. And then pulled Nelly Furtado out of whatever she was doing at the time. Oh, so, 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 she, 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 was, she was that homie, she's like kids, son. She got kids, okay, got babies. That's, okay, that's got babies, great. son. I, okay, that's babies. great. I forgot got a... She got babies. Now you got a baby. You still going to work. So you got babies. You, you got to go to work. <laughs> right. Go, take your ass to work. <laughs> Listen, maternity leave in New York is all of like 15 weeks. Go to work. Well, 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 she, well she for your paper... She, Hey. She's for your favorite place, though, son. Still, go to work, bro. You saw what you got to do. You're just not going to go to work. That's, what, that's the problem with these people. Oh I, oh, I sneezed hard. I can't go to work today. What the fuck? But but, but apparently, her her Timberland haven't worked together. There were rumors that they had beef. And they cleared that up recently. That they had never had beef. Well, that's good that, you know, yeah. that's good that, you know, they cleared that stuff up. But, you know... Yeah. You ever think they just be lying when they say stuff like that? They have be they want to squash it so bad they just don't want to say they had it. I, th- I think so. I think I think yeah. I think that's the case. So I think I think I think I think they have beef. I don't think with a big big beef, but I feel like this the dress is just because you just making it bigger than what it is. Right. That's fair. But just fair. You know what? Because if there's nothing to go into, what is there to talk about? We ain't have yeah. beef. It was a misunderstanding that we had distance. It's different. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, when it comes to this, I mean, y'all already know. I'm um, you know, I look for the Justin Timberlake album. Um, you know, Timberlake back with them today for title. Like Sam said, she apparently fell off, but I haven't seen her back. So yeah, I look forward to it. You know, what about y'all? Uh, I mean, my uh, Mali and Narati. Um. Um, I I wish the best for them. Not gonna lie, I didn't have <laughs> Nelly Furtado on my damn bingo card coming into the <laughs> like I, I thought her time was done. Promiscuous girl came, did good. It went. She had a couple drinks that I kind of liked actually, and I just can't remember that, them no more. That, that, that um, album, that, I album hope. that that loose album alone. That, I'm gonna tell you about the loose album. When she released the loose album, it did bad. And then Timberland, then the the push from Timberland just made it. Got sky rocket, sky rocket after that, like heavy. So oh, yeah, it was, so it was like a comic. Timberland got rich off a bad album. Basically, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> basically, Let's go crazy. Let's go, Timbo. Yeah, oh, first, I, heard, I, I, I remember because this album came out in two thousand and six, and I heard this album when it first and and when it first came out, it did bad, it tanked it, but then out of nowhere, it is sky rocket, crazy. I guess what because of Miss Grizz is skyrocketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. 
man, Cam. I mean, I'm a I'm a fan of JT, so I'm gonna see how this goes, man. I think it's gonna be alright. Yeah. Um. The thing is, I don't know what album he's doing either. I mean, you don't know it could be like a country album, like that Man in the Woods. Could that make feelings about that, or is it like gonna be like a future sex love suck? I heard it. I heard. I heard it's gonna be a part two, but. We so that we had to wait to see type of thing, but yeah. And last thing on the premiere on the the pre the prequels, more news that matters. Mattel, you know, Mattel have a big success with the Barbie movie, so now they got more ideas for some movies. They got movies like Barney, which the dude from Get Out is on it, which is not is not a is not a kid movie, by the way. <laughs> um, Polly Pocket, Hot Wheels, and they make it an Uno movie. <laughs> that Uno movie is gonna be a tour de force. Wow, facts. I don't know oh if I was God. smoking too much weed or <laughs> or what, because when I thought of the Uno movie, I'm thinking of explosions. I'm thinking they need Michael Bay. Like it's gotta get crazy. Oh the draw balls, the different rules. It's gotta go nuts. Like they should have like uh like one of the players that's trying to redeem himself go through like all of the black rules of Uno <laughs> so that way he can come back as a champion. Right. You know, I, I'm not gonna hold you, son. I know the Barney movie is definitely something to see, especially especially <laughs> it's not a it's not, it's not a it's not a kid movie, it's an adult movie. So apparently Barbie was not a, a kid movie either, from what I heard. But, oh, I, 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 I heard it was not a kid movie at all. I heard a lot of little kids was upset because it was not a kid movie. With a straight adult movie. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They yeah. con the shit out of them kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's why I tell you, I should have went to see Oppenheimer. That Bobby <laughs> shit the cash grab. The drunk ass man with their daughters oh. going to the movies and tutus. <laughs> and then on top of that, you know what's crazy about this, though? Yeah. This generation of kids haven't played Barbies like that. Everybody's on an iPad. They should have went to see the movie about the iPhone. Steve or the Jobs. iPad. <laughs> that is true. I ain't gonna lie. Steve Jobs did. It, that wasn't as fun of a movie as it wasn't. Barbie. I mean, I mean, but then again, <laughs> they got, did, did again. You think about it, Steve Jobs? They had actually cut your. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. Uh, but yeah, but um, yeah, um, I can hold you out of this list. The Uno movie seems mad. Still, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, how they gonna? I'm really curious about how they gonna do that. Like, I'm I do. I, I do want to see the main, like, um, the main um, protagonist go through all of the rules of like Black Uno for him to get better. Like, that gotta be a good chunk of the movie. I gotta see him fight through like a draw thirty. Yeah, that'd be interesting. They gonna hold you. Oh man, that'd be dope. Uno, Uno movie. I mean, Hot Wheels. You know, I'm about Hot Wheels. I took up a Hot Wheels. And I, I guess, I guess, it, I guess, it, what they try to do is basically sis they want to make movies that from our generation could be put up, watch, play these stuff and watching, you know, you know, doing these stuff. So they want to make movies for that, for us. So I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't mind that. I mean, hot wheel, I'm hot wheel. How to go to hot wheel? Probably gonna be driving cars and like sound like Fast and Furious, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, I'm. I think it'll be something similar to that, but we'll see yeah, what they do. Yeah. But with the yeah. Uno movie, that's gonna be exciting. That's yeah, gonna I, be something I want to go see. Not me too. Already. Yeah, I mean, too, Uno movie is the most exciting that I want to see as well. Oh, you yeah. driving too fast? If you if you draw if you draw <laughs> ball four, you don't get a ticket or some shit like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And that's it for the prequel. Small new news that matters. I now we got the premiere news. Um, first thing first, um, Sans, this is you. All right, so boom. I want to start this new segment off um, with the following statement. The views expressed in this particular segment are those of mine and mine alone and does not reflect the Premiere Voice podcast, the pods, or any of our streaming affiliates. Having said that, this new topic we're going to talk about is fair use, right? And it's basically basically us reacting to um, what a lot of the stories, basically a lot of a lot of the stories that we're reacting to, but also with video content. Now, use. the reason why fair use, 
fair use fair use now what we're talking about here isn't the meaning of fair use but what we're talking about is a whole um controversy that's been going on with Jess Larius and her comments about the transgender community right so basically what happened was you have a, a lot a few transgender um women that's coming out now saying oh we could we could um we want to be able to have periods and cramps and all of that too you know so which um just larry's replied in a response which was a pretty scathing response honestly um talking about how we're the old how like you know women are the old like cis women are the only ones that could you know have periods and give birth which is facts let's keep it a buck those are facts right scientifically proven so um when she was talking about that you know she caught a lot of heat but don't just take my word for it can play the clip of that video that you showed that um their youth that you shared in the chat and then we'll go over it we'll discuss their youth I'm gonna have too much fun with it the audacity and just the 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 arrogance for cis women to believe that they own periods that they own womanhood you don't okay you don't own periods you don't own womanhood you experience both and both are different for every person but as a cis woman it doesn't belong to you so you can't gatekeep it like hello hello who the fuck is gonna stand up for us <laughs> who the fuck stands up for us and us I mean women, real women, biological women, women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were. Um, when does the delusion stop? What is the difference between um, Pause it right there. you and someone who has been um, diagnosed to be mentally insane? What's the only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on. Stop talking out your fucking ass. Wake up. How are you projecting your anger? on real women because we are the gatekeepers we are the gatekeepers for periods we the only one that fucking bleed honey we the only ones that can give birth we make y'all people we make y'all y'all come from us you can't be us you will never you're chasing something you'll never ever get you'll never be that thank you shout out to roddy with the late response on that one i got this say pause it like 20 <laughs> seconds ago all right so um in that piece she talks about um just Larry basically talks about how um how they are the natural women are the natural breeders and leaders of you know of the space well apparently she gets a lot of backlash from that from that statement you know and a lot of people calling for her to be canceled and there's a lot of back and forth especially between you know the transgender community and um in particularly black women right which is which i find ironic because the biggest supporters of the lgbtq plus community are black women <laughs> you know what i'm saying beyonce's renaissance tour basically or the renaissance album was basically wrapped around at in the in a nice pretty bow for the lgbtq community and what does the transgender community say in return oh you know now we want your period now we want your period we want your cramps right first they wanted to borrow your first they wanted to borrow your makeup then they wanted to borrow your you know your your, your slang and your tone and your 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 um your can't your your demeanor you know what i'm saying then they wanted to borrow your attitudes then they want to borrow your buying power and your rallying power then they wanted to borrow your men i'm saying that again then they wanted to borrow your men right now they want your ovaries they want your periods right 
And black men were telling you about this for years. For years. Just for you guys to sit there and shame us and call us sassy when we bring it up. You know what I'm saying? Call us gay when we talk about stuff like this. Right? But now you look up and the transgender community is now, you know, now on your neck. And you're asking, you're asking YouTube or, or Instagram or TikTok or whoever who's going to protect y'all. The people that was going to protect y'all, y'all already pushed away. We tried to protect y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I say all of that to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on this situation? And do you think, um, where do you think this can go from here? And do you think black women has to take some form of responsibility for the rise of the LGBTQ community. Mm. The last thing about bro. Same here. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, I'm not, I'm and don't be scared to say what you really want to say. This is a safe space. This is Premier Boys Podcast. We're yeah. we're we're the writers of this shit, bro. Yeah, um, I mean, but just, but just for saying, I mean, she ain't, she ain't wrong. I mean, and everything you saying, you ain't wrong either. So, I mean, the, I, do, I do feel like the trans woman is trying to, to replace the real woman, you know, when, you know, as much as they want to be, a, a, you know, a part of of it, they could. It, 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 it never, I'm um, never gonna, never gonna happen, you know. Because even though they are women now, they were not born that way, you know. So I have to think that they want not, it's pretty impossible. Oh my gosh! Like freaking trans women are not freaking. They're women. But they're after women, like they were born men. Like you can't really replace, you know. You want to feel cramps, you want to feel periods and shit. That's not your body. That's a body you freaking transformed into. Like you can't even give birth. You can't, you know. Is you're basically in my eyes, you're an imposter. You're fake. Like you get all these surgeries, you know. You get orders that done to you. And, you know, some people, because some people really can't tell that this person is was born a man by, by their makeup, the whole um, new transformation that they had. So it's really, you know, crazy how you sit here and you say that you want to feel cramps, that you want to get periods when, you know, your body was built as a man from naturally and born you're not a natural born woman and i don't care what i don't care if y'all was freaking boycotting aretha franklin natural born woman song a few episodes ago the, the, don't, but, forget, don't forget last year they were boycotting um chappelle Remember? yeah and, yeah and, yeah. That, and that was the thing too like they boycotted chappelle after he said some shit yeah, and then on top of that he, he said that, right? He said that there was going to be outrage about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he called the outrage. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And come to find out, it was literally... He literally... He, he called his own shot. He did, yeah. He, yeah. He but trans... A but trans can never take the place of a of a woman. Because no. she's, she's a woman and she can do a lot more. Ten times more than what trans people can do. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. And I and I get that, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said before, you know, black in a sense, sense of the word, and I'm not saying it's to like batch or anything like that, but black women did play an active role in the transgender community, you know, moving the way they move. Because you look at it like this, they're not emulating you look at the mannerism, and they're not emulating like white women. I have something to say after you. Well, they're not emulating white men. They're emulating women from the culture. 
Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and the, Fort Worth, Worth, the Fort Worth comes down to black women is that, like, they condone it because they're, you know, when they link up, they're like, oh, girl, this, oh, girl, that. Yeah, but then yeah. now, when they mess with your dude, now it's like, oh, nigga, get out my house, you know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. we, they got, like, in both communities, they got to make different moves as to you know how they're gonna you know maneuver you know yeah they gotta be a can, level they gotta be some boundaries yeah and I can hold man you, they son. do and I, and I can hold you it's, it's, it's scary son it's, it's really scary out here son. I can hold nah they, they really take they really there's really a lot more people who's getting trans surgeries and turning themselves into trans on a daily basis on a weekly basis and you know something too y'all like when when we was when, when they had Black Lives Matter, who was chanting more Black Lives Matter than anybody? It was, you know, it was it the was white. And I was saying it was the white community. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So you look. So at what that. I saw that is was I personally I don't care what nobody else thinks that's listening to this. I saw that as being being fake, but. And you right. Yeah. You're right. Because when you look at it, right? Like people support you got people that support these causes, right? Because it's something that needs to be supported. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stood on and stand by, right? And mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, like fighting for like, you know, LGBTQ plus rights is something to just fight for and stand on. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. But I don't know if you probably know people that went through like periods and cramps. I've seen my wife go through periods and go through like cramps and everything like that. As much as I'm a big tough dude and I I try to like, you know, I try to be, like that's something I would never want to I would never want. Why would you want that for yourself? Why would you want periods and cramps for yourself? Knowing how how much, you know what I'm saying? You know how much that, how much pain you go through with that. Like, I've seen a video where these two two guys, right, were basically testing this. They, they basically thought that they could take, you know, like a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Take like a whole period cycle. And basically, they had this machine where they strap themselves onto the machine, right? And the machine would emulate the it will send like shocks to the dude's like um abs, right? The abdominal region. And those little shocks would would emulate the shocks that would come during like during that time of the month. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And when they did it, it was like they were doubling over in pain. They were hurt. They were falling everywhere. And they couldn't get out of it because it was an experiment. You know? So they were going through it. Like, they, like, I feel like if you were trying to ask for that, you going to go from Tina to Tyrone real quick. When you find out how painful that that is, it looked painful. And for me, I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things that sets the difference between humans. At least one of the many differences anyway. Molly, what's your thoughts on this? So, in terms of what Jess Hilarious said, she said it hilariously. I guess, but she said something I've heard mimicked in a few different voices. Um, even Dave Chappelle talked about these people. They call turfs. And they're basically a set of women trying to defend the naturalness of women of their womanhood from being able to be taken and taken apart as a phrase. And I knew this fight would come at some point. I'm just surprised I'm seeing it now you know what i'm saying yeah because it's like like you were saying when when things like this affected us as men and and different things we kind of get shamed into going along with a lot of things 
oh you're you're toxically masculine because you don't da 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 you're you know you're you're pig headed you're behind you're bigoted you're a lot of things and it's not so much a distaste or a disdain it's a dis trust maybe just because you know you don't have to trust everybody <laughs> you understand what I'm saying that's a fact now that you see where where it's kind of leading it's like okay now I'll be all of this you know like I'm down with you doing whatever you want to do but when you start telling me how to think how I think now that's a step too far I'll even let listen you want you want me to call you you Sally when I know your name was Roman, that's cool. I'm going to call you Sally every single day of the week. Is her, her exit, all of your pronouns. I got your back. I'm your homie. I got you. I will never violate your pronouns. But what happens when you start violating our now? You understand what I'm saying? And this is what women are feeling like they're doing because now you ask somebody what a woman is, they have to stammer. It's bad. Yes. You know what's real bad, bro? When I, when I agreed with Matt Walsh for a second. That's when it's real bad. That guy be bugging out, but he didn't. he didn't even have his own opinion. People were he would go ask people the question and people would literally stammer give him give him nothing or run around the mill red herring poppycock when does it can it stop right here like is this the boundary how hard would they fight to break the boundary and it don't and you don't want to make it seem like it's this big dystopian fight of us versus them it's not really that it's, it's He's like, let's get to a point of respect now. You can push the lot. Exactly, get it. Exactly, there was a lot exactly. of stuff that happened that hold on now. Women said they want to be viewed like this. Who are you to tell them what they can't be viewed as when everybody's been letting you be viewed as whatever you are? And that's the thing about it, too. Because when you look at it, right? Like, Whenever anybody had anything to say about the about, and I'm going to rephrase this as the community, right? Because yeah, yeah. I'm not spelling all those letters and plus symbols, right? Right. Do so that. I'm going to I'm going to I'm just going to phrase it as the community. Well, you have the community, right? Um, getting a lot of the support for their causes and everything like that. You know, what what happens is is that just like the Jewish community this particular community er, ends up receiving so much protections right yeah you get a lot of protections you know and I think the problem with our community is we're so quick to support other people's communities that we forget to protect our own own. you know what I'm saying and what happens when our community gets attacked we're all looking around talking about who protected us but not realize that the people that were really protecting you you shunned away and y'all felt like y'all can do it yourselves and now basically if you really want to get down to it you pretty much got the men that is actually spicy getting at you after you called the men that was trying to protect you spicy make it make sense listen it's it's all is right there like ask who who will protect us, who will protect us, who will protect us when people were there protecting you, you put them away. They weren't good enough. They were this, they were that. Doing our best in a world dominated by the enemy. I don't think there was enough credence given to that and I get it. That's a long time of psychological traumas and stuff like that. On both sides. Definitely. But you can't say we weren't there for each other when we have historical evidence that we were there for each other. But every time we get that thrown at us, we look for other groups that, like, the thing is, protection is prevention. So if this is the new world you wanted, we got to let you have it. But you can't 
you can't get mad if that's the if you see this backlash you can't get mad and then try to run back for help after this is the world that you actually actively wanted mm-hmm. you got you gotta you gotta eat that you gotta eat that out because it's like and you know and you know it's rough to say certain things like this over the airways people gonna yeah. Say whatever they want to say, they're gonna yeah. say that we're this and we're gonna say that we're that, and we're not. Yeah, yeah. Either way, yeah. It, it, either way, good or bad, we're gonna we're gonna, we gonna get back left no matter what. So yeah. it is, it at is that good. point, I don't even care, and I feel like I, I'm be honest with you. If we get backlash over this, it really just not only proves my point, but it proves Dave Chappelle's point. That no matter what, you know, what I'm saying, no matter what you say about a, about the community, right? If you say anything that that is short of support no matter blind blind support of the community then you you get cancelled because you're not think and that's the problem with this generation too like if you're not thinking exactly to the letter what the other what the other groups are thinking you're automatically cancelled big fact there's a lot of group thing and that's actually <laughs> scary it's scary that's just dangerous as fuck it is, it is. A, literally and it's like i don't and the thing is you don't want like nobody is on this podcast i'm gonna put it like that nobody on this podcast is coming at nobody's at all no nah, not at all that's, identity that's, genders yeah, no. politics, none of that that's not what we at, 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 at all we we, 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 we got it but we calling it right down the middle we referees we in the black and white shirt we the zebras yeah. mm-hmm. we out here calling it right down the middle yeah this is what we see in yeah, exactly. We see it exactly we, what we see, and we saw it. That's the thing. We see it, and we saw it coming. We was like, "Hey, listen! If you do, if you go down this school of thought, soon you're gonna be having to fight about who you are." Yeah, and that was a fight. And I was just, I was talking about this too. Like, there's videos, right? Like, why of all things you want, right? You take the culture, you take their men, you take. You take their, you know what I'm saying? Like, you do all of this, right? But then you also want the periods. You want the cycles. I'm sorry. I watched my wife, right, go through these these cycles, these changes, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't want no part of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want it. I'm, I'm okay. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, I'm all right. I'm alright not having to get parts of those. You feel me? I I agree. I agree. 100 percent agree. Like what what y'all wanna now see, they're gonna try to try to figure out how they can carry babies next. And I know that sounds uh, yeah. no, crazy uh, no. when you say it like that. And it's uh, like I promise you, give it ten years because they're already trying to figure out doctors are already trying to figure out how to do uterine transplants. Yeah. Maybe to help out the baron. Guess who else is now going to be? Come on, it's too easy. Yo, see, yo, Molly, like, like I said before, um, I'm not surprised by anything that happened these days anymore. Because <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm and, that, surprised. and the worst part about it is they're going after straight men. Yeah, yeah. Straight men thing. that don't want nothing to do with a man. Yeah, they're yeah. Going after them so that way they can expose them and put them on their podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's like how they did Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates had caught slipping up, and he went just full throttle after that. He was like, "All right, fuck it." And then now they exposed him on the pod. Oh wow! Damn, Kevin. Kevin Kevin Gates takes the weirdest L's in the world, don't he? Very weird, like out of nowhere. Like it's weird. Like it's such, and he's such. I like Kevin Gates. I don't. I can't. I don't say it publicly very often because of some of this stuff. <laughs> oh Lord! And, and once again, nobody's being exclusionary. This is a referee's call. Like it's like it sounds crazy, but I, I want you to take off those ears of like the ears of outrage. You gotta take off right. the ears of outrage. Ooh, I like, thank you for putting that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta take off the ears of outrage and hear it at a. At a base level, at a base level, you're telling women that were already here to find. You understand what they are no longer, and they're getting, and they don't like it. Yeah. Right. 
in this day and age, we got to listen to our women. I agree. So what are we doing? Are we now, now because they, you don't agree no more? Now we, now women aren't right? Well, let me talk. At the end of the day, right? You know, this is why sticking together in our communities is important. Because when you don't, you get shit like this. And then you realize the community that you thought you was supporting doesn't support you back. As a matter of fact, they're quick to bash you too. But go ahead. Blame this on blame this on black men too. We'll be here to respond to that as well. Can Roddy go? Um, but yeah, um, now it's time for the main event. It's time for the main event, and the main event is Kelly Russell. Carly. Carly Ka- Russell, there you go. That, 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 thank you, thank you, Molly. Carly Russell. Do anybody know the full story about this girl? Like the full timeline. So basically, uh, hold on. We gonna pull that up real quick. Yeah, good. Because we have simple it, because mind you, it's a, it's a lot happened between the time it happened up to now. So this sounds like some cool stuff that you'd see in a movie. <laughs> As a fact, yo, and apparently she was watching Taken, so she got a lot of inspiration for that. Yeah, I've I seen the list of the stuff that she was looking up: how to disappear, how to go to from here to here, bus ticket to Tennessee. I'm like, damn, like they have her to write. So, I don't so I believe, an alert. <laughs> word, yo. So uh, it started from, I believe she was driving, and she said she saw a toddler, and she got the car, and then Nick didn't know. She disappeared. <laughs> so, the search for her began on the night of July thirteenth. That night, she yeah. called one one one, and then yeah. spoke to a family member saying that she saw a young child walking on the side of the interstate four feet yeah. behind. South near Mile Market 11 in Hoover. Mm. Holly's mother said her daughter was on the phone with a family member when she pulled over to check on the child. While the family lost contact with Carly, the line remained open. When officers arrived at the location, they found her red Mercedes still running by the interstate, but they were unable to find her or a child in the area. Investigators say no children have been reported missing in the as the news of her disappearance spread, a private donor came forward to offer a $25,000 reward in addition to $5,000 being offered by the crime stop in Metro Alabama. The reward eventually increased to $55,000 to over $63,000 with the support of 60 other donors. On July 15, 49 hours after her disappearance on Interstate 459, Russell showed up at the front door of the home in Hoover she shared with her parents. She walked up, banged on the door, and that was her, Hoover Police Chief said. The stations reported that surveillance video from the neighborhood shows her walking by herself down the sidewalk before arriving at her home. Speaking to today, Carly's mother, Talitha Robinson Russell, described the moment they got to see the daughter for the first time since she disappeared. We tried to hug her best we could, but I had to stand back because she was not in a good state. We had to stand back and let medical professionals help her. Robinson said before coming too emotional to speak, when first responders arrived at the scene, the missing woman was reportedly conscious and spoke with them. Russell was taken to a local hospital for for evaluation and has been since released back to her family. Authorities said that Russell had told them that she was taken by a red-haired man who came out of the trees when she stopped to check on the child, put her in a car in an 18-wheel truck blindfolded her and held her at home where a woman fed her cheese cracker. Mm. That man then picked her up and she screamed. He then made her go over a fence. He then forced her into a car. The next thing she remembers is being in the trail of an 18-wheeler. She stated that the male was with a female. However, she never saw the female. She could only hear her voice. She also told the detective she could hear a baby crying. She watched movies. She does. <laughs> she really does, though. I think, hold on, real quick, before you continue, I actually want to break. I actually got something that, that, that could be a break in the case real quick. 
that can help Charlie. I actually have live photo evidence of the baby she was looking for. Oh, really? I have it. Yeah, I do. I have it in my phone right now. I'm going to put it up on the Zoom. I have live photo evidence of the baby that Carly was looking for. She could have, like, people saying she going crazy or whatever. I tend to disagree. Um, there is live photo evidence of this baby. I have it, and I'm going to share it right now. Breaking news. Breaking news. Da, da, da. Doing it right. Now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's the, here comes the baby. Here comes the baby. Y'all ready? Here okay. comes the baby. Better not. Here comes the baby. <laughs> there, there's the baby. Breaking news. <laughs> All right. If you have seen this baby, right? Please call your local authorities. All right. Carly was trying to find this baby. People are on the lookout. If you see this baby, please call your local authorities. Damn it. There's a child missing. All right. There's kids missing. God damn it. Help find the kids. I'm done. I'm done. I'm dead. Molly, continue, son. I love Tommy, but. All right. Oh shit! At some point, Russell said she was put in a vehicle again, but managed to escape and run through the woods through her neighborhood. Detectives were still investigating where Russell was and what happened to her between the time she went missing and returned home. But he also said investors have been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement. In the days before her disappearance, authorities said she searched for information on her cell phone about Amber Alerts, Amber Alerts, a movie about a woman's abduction, and a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville, Tennessee. The best. <laughs> her phone also shows she's traveled about 600 yards while telling the 911 operator she was following a three or four-year-old in a diaper on the side of the highway. I do think it's highly unusual that the day someone gets kidnapped that seven or eight hours before they're searching the internet, Googling the move and taking about an abduction. I do find that very, very strange. Yeah, that is very weird. I ain't gonna that is very weird. I don't know. Maybe it was a good movie. Maybe she wanted to look it up. Yeah, maybe, you know, like she, she might just be trying to look it up to... You know, maybe prove a point to her ex boyfriend or something, or maybe she just wanted to see it on that long, long, you know, car ride. But, you know, I, I don't want to cast judgment. Continue. So, prior to her disappearance, Russell allegedly took a robe and toilet paper from her job. Oh my God, they were looking her down. <laughs> okay. Carly apologizes for making up kidnapping. Monday, Russell's attorney, Emery Anthony, told police she would be ready to speak with them in the afternoon. Instead, Anthony delivered a written statement to investigators on her behalf instead. The statement, which Dervis read out loud, offered an apology for Russell's actions but failed to provide a reason for the fabrication. There was no, I'm quoting the letter now, there was no kidnapping on July 13, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident. This was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or at any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to the community, the volunteers who were searching for her. To the Hoover Police Department and other agencies, as well to her friends, uh, her, to her friends and families, we ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly again asks for your forgiveness and prayers. That's hilarious because I, I feel bad because we really was trying to defend her because we <sighs> wanted blood. But we wasn't seeing the full details. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can I, can I start how I feel about this whole thing? You can. I'm going to start, man. Um, 
you like like Molly said, yeah, we all were for her. I felt like Tyler Banks after I found out about that. I felt like Tyler Banks after that. We all were rude for you. We all were rude for you. But I'm good. I gonna hold you when when I first heard a story about you know she hugged her um, seeing the kid and she found a kid she getting kidnapped. I felt I felt bad for her. I go, I was very. I would other people post a shit room like, yo, let's keep her our prayers because it's crazy and stuff like that. Then we found out that the whole thing was false. Was I was really, I was really upset. Then the more, the more the story, the more stuff, the more the story got put out, the more upset that I got <laughs> because it's like, why we do this? Like, what, like, but thing is, what was the point of doing this? That's the thing, and that's the that's the make they community. Yeah, and and cause and it's and it looked really bad because real women who really get kidnapped, and now if somebody does get kidnapped, now people go to question is this real or fake? Now she messed it up for every woman and kid that really does get kidnapped, and that's really a thug. I ain't gonna hold you. The and only not, thing is not cool. Yeah, the only shining part is that she she might face jail time she's definitely gonna face some questioning um yeah. criminal side um she's facing misdemeanor charges currently yeah and i think that that's the least you can do honestly yeah because and, yeah. you can get two years for perjury and a felony that's a fact yeah. tied to a court now listen i know it's a little bit different but like once actions are taken and money gets moved to try to save you now you know it's no longer no harm no foul now you gotta get now you gotta hit that line somebody get, there has to be consequences hard consequences for women who do things like this yeah and i i got a few things to say also that i'm gonna let y'all um, take it but i do try to figure out why she did this is this is this i heard some rumors that i heard something about it's a boyfriend i'm saying like boyfriend Another thing is she lost everything. She lost her job now. She possibly get jail time. It just I just like why you did this. My other thing is but the family in on this, cause cause if they was then they should get you know treated treated by association. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. This whole thing is a lot, son. And, and even to this day. To this day. <laughs> There's two more stories being developed on this topic. So, yeah. Speaking but, of the stuff being oh, developed uh, on the oh, 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 hold on. Also, also one more thing. I also heard that she wanted to go on a podcast show to talk about this whole thing. And you know what podcast show she wanted to say she wanted to get on? The it's, Pumpkin Boys. Well, the, not the well, that well, that well, that well, that, that would be a real thing. <laughs> but but Shaggy in the Premier Boys. It's Kiki Palmer podcast show. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I want to go with Mama. the bag. Sorry, <laughs> bag of course. We, we spoke about Kiki Palmer last episode, I believe. The last episode, we spoke with Kiki Palmer. So, yeah. Of course, you want to go on a podcast that's going to sit there and entertain this bullshit. <laughs> if, if y'all finish, I would like to take a side back this real quick. Because, no, nah, I've seen enough. Like, <laughs> all right, so boom. Like, the fact that, one, you try to sit there and pin this on the baby, right? You know, it's one thing, right? It's one thing you try to pin this on a baby. That, oh, I saw a baby, and I was trying to search for it, and then come to find out, everybody defending you and everything like that, including your ex boyfriend, yeah, or, who was sitting there and, t- and you know, fighting off you know other people on this point because they're basically saying, "Bro, she lying. Bro, she lying. Hey, bro, what, sir? She lying." And then you go on, you online defend you you online defending her, and I get it. That's your shorty or whatever like that. So you gotta defend her. But when you see this, it's like, all right, now what? Now your shorty, not only is she lying to you, you know, chilling in hotel rooms, eating like Chico sticks or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? And chips. Just because you wanted somebody, you, just because you wanted attention, you gotta understand with this whole attention shit too. Attention, people say money is the root of all evil. No, it's it's really not. Money just amplifies who you already are. But attention, I will say, is the root of all evil because people will do extravagant things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that attention needle, even when they even 
even including and not limited to getting yourself kidnapped. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. So when you look at this, it's like, all right, bet you did all of this. You sat there, you faked your kidnapping. You was walking around in the area, and when you got close to your home, like maybe five, ten minutes away, you started running back to your house. All right. Say, say, I got one word to say, son. Then you can Delusional. Say, but that too, disgusting. Good to you. Disgusting. You know, talking about, oh, I've been kidnapped. Oh, I've been kidnapped. Come to find out you was lying. And I feel like the cops, they knew you were lying, but they can't come out and say that because yeah. they already did the search. They already did the research. Google, number one, y- y'all gotta understand Google and Facebook Not even Google and Facebook Google and social media as a whole Oh yeah and the internet As a whole Like y'all think y'all and Why do people think we got Incognito mode only does have the job Y'all are out here in these streets If you don't pay for a bunch of stuff To block all your stuff Listen, incognito- all You click to be on this website Say it Yep. Incognito mode only helps when you trying to hide the fact that you trying to be, trying to beat your meat at work, <laughs> All right? That's the only thing it you hides. Do not uh, encourage. Not, not to say that I, not to say that I or the Premier Boys delve into that type of stuff, <laughs> but I know IT dudes. I, I always get chummy with the IT dudes at work, and they tell me stories. <laughs> One of them being how. Many people, because it's not just one piece, it's a lot of people, right? Not like in all types of workforces that you know try to bust one down at work and try to hit the incognito news flash, they know, mm-hmm. right? You know what I'm saying, and there's workarounds. So, you try to sit there and do that during your Zoom meeting if you want, but getting back to, to the matter at hand, the internet as a whole. Molly's right. Internet as a whole is literally the feds. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact, yo. That's a fact. When it comes down to the stuff, one, they could try triangulate your location with your phone, which is why when people were talking about the vac the, the vaccine being um chipped, I'm like, bro, if they wanted to have your they wanted to track you, all they gotta do is use the cell 5G cell towers to triangulate your position and then you cook. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mostly I'll so, attach to your phones like they're freaking sewed onto your skin anyway. Exactly. I mean, you, you already use your phone to butt passes. I mean, yeah. Good deal. Yeah, you're talking about, oh, I can't let these people track me while typing it on your on your $1,500 iPhone. Sadly, we're already being tracked anyway. Like, newsflash, you're already being tracked. You can't get, can't get over it, can't get around it. Right. So, when you... When you when, when you have the police chief of this case talking about, oh, he searched how to how much do you do you have to pay for Amber Alert? You a whole grown ass woman talking about, oh, I need an Amber Alert. Like, are you serious? There's not, there's no mental illnesses that we may not, may or may not know about you, especially like now. This we might have no one know what we know now. You might be eligible for Amber, a free Amber Alert call. I ain't gonna hold you. You feel me? That's but uh, hey, listen. That you know what's messed up? Lying to the country about your whereabouts. That's yeah, messed yeah. up. Yeah, that's messed up. Lying to your ex boyfriend. She did not lie to the country. She lied to the cops, which is more important than us. And then it got nationwide. So. You indirectly lied to the country, bro. Like, nah. Yeah, 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 everybody, everybody, everybody out here worrying. You got yeah, your boyfriend out here defending everybody. against people on Instagram and everything on TikTok or whatever, making all these posts. Come to find out, she creep tiptoeing her way back into the hood and then running back to her folks' house, bro. That's what we ask for, right? This is what we ask for to be alerted to every little thing like this just so people could drag our attention so easily and it's hard because you care for people and people take advantage of that they take advantage of their care with their attention but this is what we act for this is why we're so linked on to each other this is why we got these social media things going so much like we want us to be safe by nature of each other but though we open the portal for some of the worst of our kind to be taken seriously 
and I don't say worse to denigrate her as a human because there gotta be some mental defects there, maybe some bipolarism. Please, if there's not one, do not use this to say there is one because first of all, you ain't getting no time anyway, girl. Just take the slap on the wrist and move on with your life. Because that's all you did was lie to the cops for no feasible reason at this point other than trying to hide from a family member problem. Right? That's probably all she did. But the thing is, we all, we, even, even in a case like this, you still want to take a little bit of caution. I was thinking about this. The opioid crisis, is it crazy or is it not crazy? It's highly crazy. I'm, I'm currently saying in the city right now, where it's like the East Coast capital for opioid addictions. Do you know how many opioid, like how many people I hop over in the morning to my train station? <laughs> that are lit at four in the morning. Off some perks. Some perks don't stop, boy. If you only knew how I know. I'm definitely not by doing it. By seeing people who do it. It's, an, it's one of those things that don't stop. But I'm saying there's a lot of things that happen. There's a lot of ways that that people be in things. You know, we don't know. A lot of mental health uh, went unreported. It goes unreported. It has to be mental health. Yeah. Or it has to be a cry for help. Either way, you, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. There's got to be better ways of handling your thing. And if you thought this was the best way, and I feel like she's going to spin it into something where she was she was, she was, was abused by somebody and this was her way of getting out. If I'm wrong, please let me be. But she, she already sent her lawyer out here to try to try, try to talk on this. She's trying to get on a podcast, which means she has one. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's got to get on Kiki Palmer podcast. So... And of course, Kiki Palmer going to accept that shit. <laughs> you got to. Oh, of, of course. Harley Russell. Oh, it's, no. it's, it's the long con. Kiki Palmer, man. Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Listen, last little, 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 can, go, can we, we put my Kiki Palmer last episode? Let's talk about little booties matter. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. I'm sorry. Somebody who said that was had a little booty. You know what I'm saying? And try to make it matter. That shit, that don't matter, bro. Oh, shit. I'm like this. So at the end of the day, um, you, you said it best, Ken. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that are actually missing right now. Yeah. As we speak, I, I can't tell you how many times, right? I can't tell you how many times I turn on Channel 7, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see a missing a missing yeah, case report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who's missing uh, on Channel 7, 5 or 6 o'clock p.m. at night. So, every day is sad, you know. And that's the thing. You got people really missing. You got parents out here worried to death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find their kid. Some parents... May never find their kid. Find a kid, exactly. May never find their kid. And here your dumbass go and do a false report because you wanted attention? Clout. Damn, we talk about clout. You wanted clout? The things like this generation, and I ain't gonna hold you, our generation do for yeah. clout. It's insurmountable. Like, son, like I said earlier, disgusting. Disgusting. It's insurmountable, you know what I'm saying? And I don't understand it. And until we, you know, we make better decisions on shit like this, until we deal with the shit that we're supposed to be dealing with, Mm -hmm. we're going to have more Carly Russells. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have more Carly Russells out here trying to, you know, trying to lie to people and try to make people concerned and worried over, you know, over some bullshit. Yeah, just you know. Just like just Starlet, Starlet, a couple years ago. Yeah, there's a school that fucked it up for a lot of people. Yeah. People don't yeah, believe people for. when they get kidnapped and everything like that. What he do it for? Hmm? What he do it for? Clout. Clout. <laughs> the bag. 
and that's the crazy part because that's the same thing the she's doing between, it for a bag. The difference between the Carly Russell shit and the Justice Mulay shit is that that Jamal already was known. Yeah. Very well known. Yeah. And then but, did he, that. He, but he was one of the on a, one of the biggest show out at that time. Like, he thought he was going to get squeezed out of the back. He preempted himself. He thought yeah. that, no, that was some anxiety shit. He prematurely ejaculated that shit and then it fucked up. Yeah. yeah, you said that I didn't. Say. But um, I, okay, I already got canceled from other shit two people ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but that, no, that's that's that's, 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 that's game in the system, and that's the problem because when you game the system, when you try to finesse people on some shit, you know, this is what happens. Yeah. Now she's potentially going to jail, right? Yeah. She already lost her dude because now when she came find out she came back and she was lying, you know I'm, I'm sorry when she lied to the when you, if you dealing with a woman and she lied to the police and then directly lying to the country, right? Who's to say that she ain't gonna lie to your ass? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mind you, she, remember she lost her job too. She really lost her bag in. She lost her bag. So yeah. And I'm not usually the type to say this. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not usually the type to say what I'm about to say right now. But um. Yeah, if if it comes out that she gets locked up and she's facing some time, which I doubt that she will, because let's face it, if a dude did this, he'll definitely be locked up. But if a lady yeah. did, you yeah. know, you know how this goes, guys. You know how this goes. Now, with all fairness, her only crime is lying to the police, false falsifying her police report. So she falsified her police report and then she lied to the detective. That's the only problem. That's the only thing she can get booked for because she ain't really do anything else. Okay, yeah. That's true. But that's still a pretty decent charge. It's like a misdemeanor, but it's still a charge. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying. Like that's a, that's something you can see to the fullest extent, can we not? And that's what I want too. Like, no matter what's going on. These people got to be dealt with in a in a sizable way, where like even if it is mental issue, yeah, you're dealing with it. like I, this, being mental issue, being a problem. It can no longer be like I get away with everything free card. There got to be some heavy accountability taken. No more slaps on the wrist. You got to take some heavy accountability for certain things because it's crazy the amount of stuff that you're going to be able to do. But yeah, um, so unfortunate because yeah. I, I want to send my my thoughts and prayers out to that. You know, what I'm saying out to this woman, but this is something that she brought for herself. And yeah. oh, until things change, you're going to get a lot more of, of these little of these situations that are you know that we're, that is going to force us not to take it seriously. Is it going to be like? It's gonna be like when the gold digger pranks first came out. We thought that was like serious until it wasn't. You know? Yeah, man. Same yeah, thing man. there. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing is sad, man. It's a sad, sad situation. And yeah, I'm really sure we have more things to update on this story as well. So, um, yeah, and that is today's episode of the Premier Boy Podcast. This is your boy Ken, aka Mr. Gentleman. I can check out Mr. Gentleman like the podcast every Sunday for the main series and every Thursday for Spin Off Series Thursdays, where we have shows like a Conversation by Music every first Thursday, Date Night Talk Podcast with myself and about to be every second and third Thursday, and the old school show with myself and the Star Riding Ride every fourth Thursday. Also follow me on IG, on social media, Ken underscore Mr. Gentleman. I repeat Ken, K-E-N underscore Mr. M-R. Gentlemen, G N T O E M A N. Support the website www.realmentalgentlemen.lightdownpocket.com. Watch every episode, listen to every episode by merch. And yes, yeah, season seven of uh, Mr. Gentlemen, Light Down Pocket, September 3rd. <laughs> you already know what it is. It's your man's Aaron Sands, and I want to thank you guys for it. Another successful episode of the Premier Boys Podcast. You can follow me on Aaron Sands Premier on Instagram. Link in the description. 
King King Talk Sands on Good Pods and Twitter. Link in the description. King Talk Season Four. Yeah, I thought I was done, and honestly, I thought I was too. But with the success of Premier Boys and the success of King Talk Season Three, I think I just got you know I, I got a couple more in me. You feel me? So yeah, breaking news: King Talk Season Four, Labor Day weekend. Mm. Listen, I'm talking a whole lot of shit. You thought I was talking shit before. You thought I was talking shit before. I'm talking a whole lot of shit this season, and I'm not alone. I'm not alone with that. So check right. us out. All more information coming on the uh, Aaron Sampson Mirror page. So check that out. And yeah, we'll see you next week. And you already know you got the star Roddy Rod on here. Check him out on um check him out on IG at the star at right. star time Roddy. There you go. Yeah. IG. New IG. Star yeah, new, new, yeah, new IG star dot new. star dot Roddy. Star dot Tom Roddy. That's the new you IG. already know. Follow him there. Link in the description. You already know the five. Star time with those with the star Roddy Rod. All, all of season one now available on all streaming platforms. You already know what it is. Season two in the fall. Season two of Star Time in the fall. And let me finish it off then. Because they call me Mally Mally. You can find me as they call me Mally Mally on pretty much everything. So they call me. I'm not going to tell you how to spell that because I know you already know how to spell Mally Mal. M A L I M A L. If you can't find me like that, TCM Melly Mal on everything. You could just Google it, baby. I come up, pop up, baby, pop up. Right there, you can engage in my music. You can engage in more, learning more about me, and we could build community together. Also, the podcast is coming soon, guys. I worked out the kinks. I worked out a lot of things. You see, I'm sounding a lot smoother. So we're coming soon, right? I don't want to keep putting a date on things, but we are coming soon. We're even gonna, we're even gonna change the name. Right, mm-hmm. got a new name, new direction, a new way we're going. Okay, you guys Probably. will be working great and it will be consistent. Yo, question Do you got a name for it yet? I do have the name for it, but I'm not dropping it yet. Mm. Okay, okay, got you, bro. We got you. And you already know, um, well, first thing first before you go, shout out to everybody that's been listening to the premium of podcast this season alone. Y'all been getting premier boys. Number one for a top 100 episode indie charts. Literally, almost episode, almost every episode of the season been hit the number one spot. So for that, I want to thank y'all for really supporting us. Not only supporting us on the Premier Boy, but supporting all, all our projects. And yeah, and for our that really means a lot. And continue to support us, y'all. And this is your boy Ken, I came with the gentleman. And this your man's Aaron Sands. So you get better get ready. For that King Talk, King Talk, yet ask me. But until then, thanks again for tuning in to another episode of that Premier Voice Podcast. And this is not me, but the Star Roddy Ride is signing out, showing all of his love. But also, they call me Mally Mal, aka Long Live the Chief. Ken, could you give him one more time before we out? Long Live the Chief. <laughs> The trifle juice. <laughs> Top dog, the high scholar, and we out of here. Holla. And we are the Premier Boy Podcast, and we see you next week. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is Roddy. The star Roddy Rod. Check me out on Star Top. I, I guess. <laughs> we drink <laughs> <laughs>